Brunty, that was some performance by the team. Yeah, yeah, it was. Um, we always knew it was going to be a tough game. Obviously, to get the goal in the first half was great. But uh, Sider deserved his goal. He worked his socks off today. I thought he was superb. Um, got to give special mention to him for that. Obviously, he's been out of the team for a while, and he came back in to put performance in like that. I was delighted for him, you know. And, you know, obviously, uh, a few bits and pieces he's had in the in the press over the last couple of months, and and to come back and play like that, that's credit to him. He was superb, but no, the lads we defended well against set plays. You know, we know obviously West Ham pose a, a big threat from those, and you know the bar the one that hit the bar. I think we defended pretty well. Obviously, we had Foz to thank for a great save in the first half, but you know, as the game wore on, you know, we had a few chances in the second half as well. The one that we had about seven phases in their box and, and did manage to put it away, but no, glad to get over the line in the end, and uh, you know, hopefully that's uh, one foot uh, one foot over the line. But obviously, all the results and, and things will dictate that. It wasn't exactly e easy either with Reedy having to go off and Billy switching to right back and you coming back to left back. It was all going on. <laughs> no, no, obviously it was, it, we were talking about during the week about me playing left back and, you know, I, the, we spoke about it the, during the week and obviously we, we decided that we'd probably be better going with the back four and then obviously half an hour into the game you end up there anyway. But, you know, look, it's it's a team game. I'll, I'll go wherever I... I'm asked to do and try and do my best for the team and you know I was sort of I was I was pleased enough with my own performance at left back and just glad to get over the sheet over the over the line and uh, you know the clean sheet as well to be involved as, as a back four with a clean sheet that's probably the first time that's ever happened to me so you know you, you sort of at 29 you never stop get, <laughs> achieving first things you know. Did it help that you had like one eye on playing left back even in the week? Um, oh, obviously you know you sort of you start thinking you think about it obviously when the when the manager spoke to me during the week about it and you you sort of you weigh things up but you know you just want circumstances dictate during the game and you go there and you do your best for the team and you know, that's what I did and thankfully we got the result. Just a word on Stefan Sessignon, you'd rather have him on your team than play against him are you? Yeah he was, he was superb again today, him and Saito worked really well together and uh, you know obviously uh, no, he's, a, he's a good player, you can see why we paid the money for him in the summer and we, we saw that last year when he played against us for Sunderland he caused us all sorts of problems and Credit to him. He's he's uh, he's had a tough season. You know, he's had a bad a bad injury over Christmas period. And he's come back and well. He, he trains well every day, and you know, he, he shows he shows the quality he's got today. And he was uh, as you say, you'd rather be playing with him than against him. Big Vic's quite a useful guy to bring on with ten minutes to yeah. go as well. <laughs> I was delighted to see him come on. He gave me a bit of an outlet at left back. You know, he sort of uh, look. We've got a good squad of players, and you know, the, the a lot's been made of stuff off the pitch this season. And, it's sort of obviously our, our results on it haven't helped neither and you know, we haven't won enough games but today we won the game, we defended well, we had a clean sheet, we relied on our goalkeeper in a back four when we needed to and you know we used the bench well and you know you look at the likes of Victor and that coming off the bench and you know I, I wouldn't want to be a defender watching seeing him coming off the bench, you know, it's it's uh, he's a handful and you know he saw the game out well for us, he, he held the ball up for us, he, he took it in the corner, he took a few whacks as well and you know, it's credit to him because you know, I'm sure. I'm sure he probably wants to be starting games, but you know, he, he came off the bench today and did his job. Does that three points bring with it a sense of relief? Yeah, of course it does. Yeah, you know, obviously Monday night we weren't great against Man City. It was always going to be a tough game, but we didn't. Uh, we didn't start well, and we didn't. We didn't really take the game to them at all. But today we started okay. You know, we obviously, as I say, Foz made a great save in the first half. But apart from that, I don't really remember West Ham having too many, too many clear cut opportunities and. Uh, yeah, look, we're all relieved. We're, just, we're buzzing after the game. It's a great, it's a big three points for us. But I don't think we're out of the woods yet. We've, we've got, as I say, all the results will dictate that. And you know, we've still got three games left. We need to pick up some points. You've been a player at the club for a long time now. Have you heard the Hawthorns louder than that going into the last five minutes? No, I don't think so. The, 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 the punters were great today. They got right behind us from the word go. And you know, obviously, it's it's a difficult time of the season. You know, you one nil up, you're going in the last ten minutes of the game. It's tense, and you know, you make a mistake, and it's you know, you sort of. I think nerves creep in as well. No matter how experienced you get, it is it's a nervous situation for everybody. And you no, know, the the lads dealt with it well. And as you say, the, the the fans helped us right over the line today. And, no, credit to them. They, I think we, we owe them we owe them a few results at the Hawthorns because you know this year at home we haven't we haven't been good enough. About five or six times in the last ten minutes, an Albion player carried the ball into the um, <laughs> to the opposition's half and yeah. straight to the corner. Was that something you've been discussing, or is it just just inevitable now that that's what's going to happen? I'm tell the groundsman to let the grass grow along around the corner flag, see if we can just hold the ball in there for a bit. So, uh, look, you do what you can to win the game, and obviously, you know, a lot was made a few weeks ago when we didn't do that. And lads have learned their lesson. I think at Norwich, obviously as well. I, I wasn't there, but you know, you've seen the boys in the last five minutes trying to trying to waste a bit of time, trying to take the game to trying to keep the game up in their half and we did that and you know Vic came on the ideal fella to do that for you and you know, the last two minutes I think we held the ball in the left hand corner and it's come back 
I think it's coming back to me, and you just you just hooking it in the corner and trying to hope it stays there. And, no, thankfully it did today, and you know, we move on to next week. Automatic. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you.